Hey guys, this is Arun from Tech Configurations and welcome to the Tech Talk of the Day in which we discuss about the top tech news of the day. And uh, today we have some interesting leaks regarding the Samsung Galaxy S21. As you guys know, the Samsung Galaxy S21 be powered by two different chipsets which is the Snapdragon 875 and Exynos 2100. And we have seen several leaks uh, which suggest that the Exynos 2100 would be much more powerful compared to the 875 even though both are based on the same 5nm process and has the same core architecture but now today the popular tipster ice universe has came up with some explanation for this performance differences according to him the exynos 2100 would be clocked at much higher frequency compared to the snapdragon 875 so if you look at the charts below you could clearly see that the exynos 2100 is slightly clocked higher than the Snapdragon 875 and if you look at the core architecture which is same for both Exynos and Snapdragon which consists of one ARM X1 core, three A78 cores and four A55 cores and if you see on all cores the Exynos 2100 is clocked higher like the X1 core it is actually 2.91 while the Snapdragon 875 is clocked at 2.84 so there's a 0.4 GHz difference and same here that is A78 uh, the Exynos is clocked at 2.81 GHz while the Snapdragon is clocked at 2.42 whereas on A A55 core uh, we can see that the Exynos 2100 is clocked at 2.21 while the Snapdragon 875 is clocked at 1.8 GHz so we could clearly see a boost in clock speed uh, when we compare the Exynos 2100 to 875 and that might be the reason why the Exynos 2100 scored a bit higher than the Snapdragon 875 in benchmark test. So uh, we have also seen uh, the Leakster Digital Chat Station has revealed that the Qualcomm is prioritizing efficiency over the performance. So that, that explains why uh, the Qualcomm has opted for a slightly lower uh, clock speed. So if you guys look at the earlier leaks uh, which suggested that the Snapdragon 875 scored 1120 on single core test and 3319 on multi core test. Whereas the Exynos uh, which was benchmarked two months ago which only scored 1038 and 3060 in the same test which means that Samsung has done some significant job in improving in, uh, its performance and tweaking its scores clock speed and according to the ICE universe themselves on the latest benchmarks the Exynos 2100 has actually managed to score a multi-score score of 4000 points which is totally great considering the fact that the most recent uh, Snapdragon 875 benchmarks shows that it would only have a multi-core score of 3319. So uh, there is a significant gap in terms of performance at least in terms of benchmark scores uh, when you compare both 875 and Exynos 2100 and since the Snapdragon 875 will be reportedly launched on December 1 there is a very little chance that uh, these scores could change and uh, Bell and Samsung they have done a great job uh, in terms of performance but it has to be seen how much this will impact uh, the, 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 the power efficiency of the chipset uh, the only time will tell so guys uh, that's pretty much that we have here hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button share with your friends and stay subscribed for more